All right, we're live. Hi, this is Tom Hood. I'm here with Kurt Seemers, the CEO of Kennedy & Co. And we're out here at Napa at the Verisage Summit. And, uh, you know, I'm pleased to be sitting here with one of the top 100 firms, the only one, that's really begun to think about value pricing and value creation. So, Kurt, it's great being with you. Good to see you, Tom. So, why? You know, I think, I think back over the last several years, I particularly got interested in it. Uh, Kennedy & Co. is a mission-driven firm. Uh, we're here to try to enhance the well-being of our people and also of the clients that we serve. And I've always struggled a little bit looking at the business model that CPA firms generally use. And it's a business model driven by an hourly billing mentality, which I've never quite gotten to jive directly with what our mission is. And the thing I really like about the concepts of what we call our value creation process is it aligns how we try to do things with what we're trying to do and why we're trying to do it. So it, it's an alignment thing for me that I think, uh, uh, frankly, can provide a competitive advantage for us in working in the business that we're in, but more importantly, uh, really help our clients and our firm achieve our mission. You know, I, Ron, talk, well, a couple things. Uh, full disclosure, I, I've known Kurt for back to like 98 doing the CPA Vision Project. That's kind of where we first connected. So, you know, for me, knowing him, he's a CEO that's got a, that believes in vision and the notion of setting that destination for the firm. Um, so, how's, the, how's it going? What's, where's the bright spots from your perspective? I think the bright spots are um, many of our people today have really bought into the idea of the value, value creation process. And as they bought into it, they've, they've been able to experiment, get better at it. Uh, we've seen uh, clients accept it when we sit down and explain what we're trying to do. I think we've got some nice client testimonials that uh, we've gotten back from them about the value of the, of the value creation process uh, to them. So the bright spots are those who've tried it and have gotten better at it, uh, have bought into it, wouldn't do it any other way at this point in time. Uh, and we're making some good progress with that. Any, have you noticed any you know, benefits for the full team, you know, not just the partners, but, but the rest of the team? Any, any perspective on that? Well, I think so. I, th I think particularly our young people um, who haven't yet been f uh, fully adoptive of the old business paradigms get it quickly. They understand it. Uh, they can see it. They want to be a part of that. So I think that goes way beyond our our owners of our firm or our clients, but particularly young people in the profession. And I certainly, that was reinforced for me today. Over the last two or three days, we've had some young people here at the Verisage Conference that have clearly made the statement to me uh, how important this concept is to them as a young professional. Yeah, you know, we've been having some lunch conversations and everything else, but the, but the engagement, I think, is the key right. word, right? And I've seen lots of research about how important engagement is to connecting to especially young people, but even I've seen Matt partners get engaged and really feel good about it. So I think there's an engagement notion that goes with value creation, right? Because you're co having conversations about creating value for a client. Right. And, th and, that, that, and that's and a powerful training tool. Right. Well. And at the same time for us, our mission includes enhancing the well-being of our people. Right. And one of the things I like about value creation is it gets us focused on, well, where's the value? Where can we make a difference? Yeah. And as, and as our staff and our partners really start to understand that it just op opens up the opportunities, I think, to do it better. Not that we couldn't do it before, yeah. but I think this creates a mentality where they can really uh, leverage what we're trying to do by using the processes we're trying to create. And you know, in a, in a, in a profession that's gotten very uh, kind of checklist and automated for lots of other real important reasons, having time when the professionals as a team can think about the client, I think is a pretty important concept. And, and we've got lots of great people in this profession. We have lots of great people in our firm. And I think uh, where they really make a difference, where they really bring value to everybody to interact with, is when they take the time to try to understand each other better, taking the time to understand the client, what's important to the client, and also taking the time to be creative about how they can really help that client be successful or people in our own firm be successful. Yeah. So it's that reflection time uh, that drives the creativity, which I think really drives much more valuable results for everybody. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm dead on with you now. Any, any final things? What would you say to the rest of your 
other managing partners that are out there. Anything, any final comments to them? Well, and I've, I've made lots of these comments to the people I know in the profession over time. And I think um, the one thing that I've noticed over the last five years or so since we've started talking about it and starting to do it is that many of the other managing partners or other, other uh, professionals in the firm with the larger firms are now starting to think about how the business model ought to be different. Now, I haven't seen them actually try to do this. It's a major undertaking for a large firm. But I would encourage those who are struggling with what our current business model is yeah. to be open to the idea of, well, how can we make it better? Yeah. Uh, the value creation process, the idea of we're really here to make a difference and create results for our clients. And how should that challenge how we manage our firms, how we price services to our clients, and the kind of conversations we have with our clients. Yeah. I would just encourage them to be open to the new ideas and possibly look at it for their firm. Well, you and I were at the major firms group meeting last January, right. and the number four item that that 100 group partners identified was, was changing the business model. Right. So I think you're way out there on the front of this, and uh, I, I think more people have to be thinking about it. Yeah, I agree. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tom.